everyone, my name is Homespan300 and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. I am not uh I am not I'm not something. I don't know. Okay, uh, so uh in between the two episodes I checked the job bulletin board and there's nothing interesting. And I um but I, I already have three jobs lined up in Sinister Woods, so let's go there. And I realized in the last couple episodes, oh no, it's one of these. How long do I have to put up with him for? Others, mission objectives, eighth floor, okay, I can make this. I just realized in the last couple episodes, I never really showed you Brick Break, which is the entire purpose of teaching him was just to be like, hey, look how adorable this is on Charmander. So let's just... Uh, I want to try to not get Geodude killed, so... Let's just keep going as far as we can, as fast as we can. Yeah, it doesn't really look all that special from behind. Kapow! He just he just kicks him. It's great. Kapow! Also, this does mean I have a defense against uh, rock types, which is good because I'm weak to rock. I will just... I will just feed this to Pikachu. Beep, 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 beep. Even though I can, you know, wreck ice types already, I, 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 yeah, I have a hard time uh, with, by, with, with rock types. And water types, actually, but water types I uh, encounter a lot frequent, a lot less frequently than than uh, than rock types. Yeah. Wow, I really should. <laughs> I, I'm really having a hard time thinking of things to say, but I promised to someone, a certain someone, that I would record tonight because I didn't put. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, I promised a certain someone that I would record tonight because I didn't put an, uh, an an episode up today, and uh, I did. I, did, I put up that Gmod video today, and uh, that was that was dumb. That was very very dumb, and yeah, I apologize to those of you who were expecting a Mr. Dungeon one. Oh, the exit's over there. Get wrecked. Wow, that's way more HP than I have. <laughs> than I can... Okay. Um, yeah, we're not even close to getting a uh, flamethrower and... Yeah, we're not close to getting flamethrower and uh, agility. <sighs> Excuse me. It seems like whenever I'm talking a bunch, I, I start yawning like crazy. But I don't know. So we gotta get this Geodude to the 8th floor. Um, okay, so what's what's been happening with my life? Uh, not a whole lot, actually. Since I gave you those three ma super massive update videos, nothing really has happened. Um, I mean, some stuff's been happening in MMO stock, and I could tell you about that, but I'm pretty sure no one here cares about that. I mean, I know one of you does. But that one of you is involved in it. So, yeah. Or actually, it's probably like two of you. No, one of you. The other one doesn't have time to watch my videos. That's okay. Um, th you know who you are. It's, it's yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Okay. Oh, come on. You need to, like, brutally murder that guy. Or whatever. It's okay. Get wrecked! Yeah, I've been, um... I've been watching a bunch of old, 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 old videos. Uh, specifically, I've been watching a lot of... Uh, Fool in the Rain 100. I've been watch I'm watching a lot of his old... Um, Zelda LP. Uh, specifically, I started with Ocarina of Time, and I was going to continue with uh, Majora's Mask. And... Um, to be honest, I really kind of, I really kind of miss working with him on some stuff. I, I don't talk to him anymore, and I really wish I did, because he was he was a great guy. He was a great friend, and he was a great uh, let's player too. He was, uh, man, he he. I miss talking to him, and I miss hanging out with him. I I always hate it when friends. When when friends stop talking to each other, when when, I, when you just like sort of drift away, dude. Yeah, so I I always hate that. It's happened to me a number of times in my life. Nope, we've got two more missions: one on the next floor and one on floor twelve. Um, but yeah, it's it's so. It's really depressing when that happens, and I, I really don't, I really don't like it at all. It's, it's, it's sad. Yeah, and that's happened a number of times, and with a, with a number of friends, and I think it might be happening, well, I know, I know it has been happening with me and uh, my former girlfriend. I, we said that we were gonna not let this get between us as friends because we were friends beforehand, and you know I, I didn't really want to stop being friends with her just because we had tried something and it didn't work, and that would just be dumb. But I mean, uh, I didn't go back to school, and she's still at school, and she's just got a hard time. Uh, keeping in touch with people, and I've got a hard time keeping in touch with people, and we don't share a whole lot of interests, so I don't have any reason to just, you know, go over to her and say hi. Te just, like, text her about anything. So, yeah, that's that's kind of happening. And I don't know. It's, it's really sad. Where? Where's the exit? I must be north of here. North of here. Oh, two scythers. I'll mow you down. Come here. Oh. We got a sneaky one here. Die. Um. What else I can tell you about my writing? Uh, um, okay, so I, I did actually... Oh, shit, that's a lot of enemies. Alright, um... Uh, I, I did actually... get uh, some advice from someone. Uh, and, um... He said... You know, uh, with, with two of my main characters who were supposed to start out in a relationship because of the sort of prequel... But what I'm actually doing is I'm rebooting uh, the series with a different plot from sort of the same point where I had left it, uh, it one of my older projects and because uh, I didn't like it and I had a plan to keep going with it because I really liked the characters I was working with but I didn't like the plot I had and, and some of the characters needed work and needed uh, sort of off-screen development and so uh, I sort of said alright I'm going to I'm going to reboot this series. But then I'm noticing a lot of the bad stuff that happened in the the bad writing stuff, not bad event stuff that happened in the um 
first installment, and I realized, you know, it's it's not it's not good in writing wise to have two characters or start in a relationship together. I should show I should show how they got to that point, especially because in this new rebooted version, there's an alternate backstory sort of. It's complicated. Basically, everything has two backstories, but I should give them the more canon backstory like on screen that I was thinking of so I'm gonna start it as a slice of life but and you know how all these characters meet up and get prepared for not get prepared they're not they're not prepared but to um, notice the things going on around them and to, to, to start just going on adventures and yeah, and that's how it happens. And so there's this slice of life bit, and and, and I was just thinking, you know, uh, uh, as I was writing, uh, you know, slice of life is really hard to write because what I'm good at is writing plot and writing dialogue through plot, bl writing plot through dialogue, and and I kind of got okay at writing fight scenes, but that's neither here nor there and I, it, it's not really it doesn't really take a whole lot of practice to write fight scenes fight scenes are easy but um oh come on oh I was trying to hit my friend alright well then uh, anyway yeah so slice of life is really hard cause there's no plot there's there's nothing they use, they use, they use mini plots so uh, what I was trying to do with the slice of life bit is, boom! Here's the character def definitions that I'm laying down right here. Here's the. Hang on, no, no, yes. All right, I'm gonna go to the end of the dungeon. Yeah, it's 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 really hard to write when there's no plot there, and so I was having a lot of trouble. What I was gonna do with the slice of life segment specifically was introduce some some character definitions early on. So like this person is like this when they start out, and you know that they, they this is their relationship with the other person currently. This is how it's. How, how you know how they feel about them and what's going on and um, beyond oh into the dungeon anyway beyond that what I was trying to do uh, I was trying to do exposition stuff on this new world because everything's new with this the the world itself it's called uh, the story is called new world rebuild because the new world is new and has been rebuilt. It, it look it's kind of just kind of a catchy name that I came up with, and I like the sound of it, so I kept it. It really means it, it, it's kind of a dumb meaning, but it's it's a good name. I like the name. Um, yeah. So I just go through. I'm not gonna read this. Whoa. Do 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 do. do. Got money. Got rescue points. That's cool. So yeah, I was trying to do that, but it's really hard to do that and no, and to do that and the other stuff at the same time. Oh, whoa. Time for a long episode, I guess. <laughs> This... that dream again. It's been a while. You're... Gardevoir. Yes. Gardevoir, there's so much I want to ask you. Why do you appear in my dreams? As an agent of spirits, I must watch over you. Because that is my role now. An agent of spirits? Yes. 
I fell under the curse of Ninetales in the place of a trainer, and became a presence without a physical form, like this. T trainer? You mean the human that was in the legend about Ninetales? It's awful that your trainer would abandon you and run away. Yes, my trainer was a terrible person. Mean and conniving. My trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But, I don't hate my trainer. Huh? You don't hate your trainer? Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow I can't bring myself to feel hatred. My trainer had some quirks, but there were good qualities too. And when it happened, I was desperate. When it happened? You mean the Ninetales curse, right? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales' curse with my entire beeling. Beeling. If the trainer is facing danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We Gardevoir are that way. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Hmm. Protect the trainer even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what Gardevoir did. Oh! I must mention, I don't mind the form I have taken. I live on this way with pride in the role that I have been given. Role? Yes. All things have a role, and they all serve a purpose. Just as I have my own role to play, you too have a role to fill. You have come here to perform a certain role, and for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? Earthquake? No, wait! I need to know more! Oh, don't go! The next morning. My throat's getting kind of dry. I should get a drink in between episodes. Or videos, whatever. There was an earthquake, wasn't there? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. I'm over time. That's it. She did say something. One problem about the Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon videos, uh, games, they do this all the time. Flashback to that moment you saw ten minutes ago. Not even, like ten seconds ago. Gardevoir knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. Hmm. She also said something about a role. What did she mean by that? Well, I think I know what she meant. She meant it's time to end the episode. So I'll be back with you in the next episode. Bye!